<clears throat> hey everyone, I'm uh, back with uh, in Genesis chapter 42. It talks about Joseph's brothers go to Egypt. It says, When Jacob learned that there was a grain for sale in Egypt, he said to his sons, Why do you look, why do you look at one another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is grain for sale in Egypt. Go down and buy grain for us there, that we may live and not, and not die. So ten Joseph's brothers went down and buy grain in Egypt. But Jacob did not send Benjamin, Joseph's, brothers, or Joseph's brother, with his brothers, for he feared that harm might happen to him. Thus the sons of Israel, which uh, came to the twelve tribes of Israel, came to buy among the, the others who came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan, which is, in, which is Israel today. Now Joseph was, was governor over the land. He was the one who sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brothers came and bowed themselves before him with their, with their faces to the ground. Joseph saw his brothers and recognized them, but he, tr but he treated them like strangers, and he spoke roughly to them. Where do you come from, he said. They said, from the land of Canaan, to buy food. And Joseph, recognizes, or, and Joseph recognized his brothers, but they did not recognize him. And Joseph remembered the, the dreams that he had dreamed of them. And he said to them, You were spies, you have come to see the nakedness of the land. They said to him, No, my lord, your servants have come to buy food. We are all the son. We are all sons of one man. <laughs> Bless me. We are honest. We are honest men. Your servants have never been spies. He said to them, No, it is the nakedness of the land that you have come to see. And they said, We, we, your servants, are twelve brothers, twelve tribes, the twelve tribes of Israel, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan, which is Israel. And behold, the youngest is the day, or is is this day with our father? Who's of course. You know, the youngest is of course Benjamin. He's with their father, uh, Jacob, who is, who is Israel, and one is no more. But Joseph said to them, "It is as I said to you: you are, my, you are spies. By this you shall be tested by the life of Pharaoh. You shall not go from this place unless your young, your youngest brother comes here. Send one of you, and let him bring your brother while you are making fine or in prison, that your words may be tested whether there is truth in you." Or else, by the life of Pharaoh, surely you are spies. And he put them all together in custody for three days. On the third day, Joseph said, said to them, Do this, and you will live, for I fear of God. If you, are, if you are honest men, let one of your brothers remain confined, or you are in custody. And let, their, and let the rest go and carry grain for the famine of your households, and bring your youngest brother to me, so your words will be verified, and you shall not die. And they did so. They said to one another, In truth, we are guilty concerning our brother. And that, and that we saw the, the distress of, of his soul when he begged us, and we did not listen. That is one of this, that is one of this distress has come upon us. And Reuben answered, him, answered them, Did I not tell you not to sin against the boy? But you did not listen. So now there comes a reckoning for, for his blood. They did, not, or they did not know that Joseph understood them, for, they were, for, they, or for there was an interpreter between them. Then he turned away from them and wept, and he returned to them. And spoke to them, and he took Simeon from them and bound him before it, before their eyes. And Joseph gave orders to get to fill their bags with grain and to replace every man's money in his sack, and to give them provisions for the journey. This was done for them. Uh, then he loaded their donkeys with their grain and departed. And as one of them opened his sack to give his donkey fodder, um, which is food, um, like dried up grass, like pretty much hay, at the lodging place. He saw his money in the mouth of his sack, and he said to his brothers, My money has been put back. Here it is in, in the mouth of my sack. At this their hearts failed them, and they turned trembling to one another, saying, what is, it, what, is, what is this that God has done to us? When they came to Jacob, their father in the land of Canaan, they told him all that had happened to them, saying, The man, the lord of the land, spoke roughly to us, and took us to, to be spies of the land. But what we said to him, We are honest men. We have never been spies. We are twelve brothers. Sons of our father, the twelve tribes of Israel, who are the twelve, who are the twelve uh, sons of Jacob, and their father, who is of course the father of Israel. Uh, twelve tribes come out of Israel. So there you go. Uh, one is no more, and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. Then, then the man, the lord of the land, said to us, By this I shall know that you are honest men. Leave one of your brothers with me, and take grain for the famine of your households, and go and go your way. Bring your youngest brother to me. Then I shall know that you are not spies. The honest men, and I will deliver your brothers, or and then, and then I will deliver your brother to you, and you shall trade in the land. As they envied their sacks, behold, every man's bundle of money was in, was in his sack. And when they had, and when they and their fathers saw their bundles of money, 
speed. And Jacob, then Jacob their father said to them, You have bereaved me of my children. Joseph is no more, and Simeon is no more, and now you would take a Benjamin. All this has come against me. Then Reuben said to his father, Kill my two sons. If I do not bring him back to you, put him in my hands, and I will bring him back to you. But he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is the only one left. If harm should happen to him on the journey that you are that, that you are to make, you should bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to shield from the place of the dead. So um anyway, uh, that's chapter forty two, Genesis forty three is next. Be right back.